the imaging modality of choice on focus gallbladder sonography. Abdominal pain is a common cause for emergency department visits. Acute biliary colic or cholecystitis accounts for a significant number of these visits. Approximately 90 to 95 percent of cases of acute cholecystitis are caused by gallstone related obstruction of the common bile uh, of the common of the gallbladder neck or cystic duct. Ultrasound is the imaging modality of choice for the evaluation of the biliary tract. Therefore, focused gallbladder ultrasound is an important application for the emergency physician to master. Physical examination is unreliable in the diagnosis of acute biliary disease. The presence of right upper quadrant abdominal pain may suggest the presence of biliary disease, but the exam findings are usually nonspecific. A significant number of patients who have a Murphy sign are ultimately shown to have non-biliary causes for their abdominal pain. Therefore, the presence of a Murphy sign lacks adequate sensitivity or specificity for the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. Some studies have shown that between 20 to 35 percent of patients presenting with right upper quadrant pain are subsequently shown to have acute cholecystitis. Therefore, the use of ancillary testing is essential in these patients. The evaluation of the biliary tract is complex since it involves evaluation of the gallbladder, the liver for intrahepatic ductal dilatation, as well as the common bile duct. Technically, the common bile duct is difficult for the beginning sonologist to evaluate. Therefore, in this module, we will focus on mastering the findings of the gallbladder. In later modules, we will cover the evaluation of the common bile duct, as well as the intrahepatic ducts, but we're going to begin with focusing on both uh, evaluating and interpreting the findings of the gallbladder. Okay, here's a little history lesson. This is Willie Sutton, who was a famous bank robber in the early 1900s. When he was asked why he robbed banks, he became famous for the saying, because that is where the money is. This is how we're going to be approaching the focused evaluation of the biliary tract. Just like money is found in the banks, we're going to find the gallstones in the gallbladder since these account for upwards of 90 to 95 percent of the cases of acute cholecystitis. Now does that mean that we can ignore the evaluation of the common bile duct? And the answer is absolutely not. In about 15 percent of patients with cholecystitis, common bile duct stones will be found. This is an important fact to consider since patients with cholecystitis will require an ERCP prior to having their gallbladder taken out. So keep this point in mind as you go through the module. The decision for operative management should be made only after the CBD has been evaluated. The focused gallbladder ultrasound can be used to diagnose cholecystitis but cannot exclude cholecystitis. Therefore, until you feel comfortable evaluating the CBD and interpreting the findings, and to be honest, this may take some time, patients with cholecystitis on focused gallbladder ultrasound should undergo comprehensive scanning prior to going to the operating room. Now let's take a look at some key anatomic considerations prior to looking at the gallbladder ultrasound examination. Here is a multiple view uh, CAT scan image of the right upper quadrant. You can see here the gallbladder, the liver, the kidney. Now the gallbladder is normally going to be 7 to 10 centimeters in length and it lies in the gallbladder fossa on the visceral surface of the liver. The gallbladder can hold approximately 50 cc's of bile. The gallbladder and the duodenum are, in intimate, are intimately related and the body of the gallbladder is going, to rely, or is going to lie anterior to the duodenum and its neck and the cystic duct are immediately superior to the duodenum. The neck of the gallbladder is fixed in the fossa and has a fixed relationship to the main lobar fissure, and we'll be showing that on some ultrasound images coming up. This is an important landmark that will be discussed during the ultrasound examination. Since the body of the gallbladder is not fixed, it can move to a variety of locations in the right upper quadrant, particularly with changes in patient position. This is an MRCP of a patient who had cholecystitis. The common bile duct 
forms by the union of the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct. The length of the bile duct varies in length. The distal CBD connects with the main pancreatic duct and terminates in the duodenum. The ampulla opens into the duodenum and it is at this level that the sphincter is located. Contraction of the sphincter will prevent the release of bile into the duodenum. 